And we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, buzzards and gulls, we're back with another Wingspan gameplay video. This is going to be a live commentary video. I am here with Master Wing, and we are going to do, join... We are, we are currently participating in the... What is this? The Cassowary Coupling, I think is what this is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those, those mods always come up with interesting names for these tournaments. Um, yeah, it's Master Wing and I versus the world. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Mm. I don't know if they can hear me, but... They can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can. Right. Yeah. Playing against... Uh, In-game names are like Spawning and Kai Guy, I think, but... Um, in the server, I believe they are known as Qwat and KaiGai23. But uh, our first experience, this is actually game two of the tournament for Master Wing and I. Our first experience, we got absolutely slaughtered. Um, I don't know if you know this, but the co-op birds where you choose one other player are overpowered in this game mode. We lost by a grand total of like 60 points, I think. Like we each had a yeah. hundred and they had like two sixty between the two of them. They got the the red winged parrot, the noisy miner, the the choose another player, draw you both draw. It was insane. But anyway, it looks like it's your turn. What do you got in your starting hand? Um yeah, I was getting PTSD from that game you just talked about. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> So, nothing spectacular. I don't have the sharing birds. I'm going, uh, I got the Eurasian Hobby, which is a no. Um, Correct. The New Holland Honey Eater, which I'm thinking about keeping, okay. where you gain one for nectar from the bird feeder. Totally. White Throated Dipper is going to be in my wetlands, and I think I'm keeping Stellar's J just for something in the forest. Yeah. And. Yeah. Although there is going to be a probably a fresh bird in the tray for you because there's some decent burdens in the tray if you wanted to wait on the forest i like it i don't hate just taking the dipper to and just dropping that first or yeah yeah and just like hunting for a better than stellar's dre but that's up to you maybe i'll dig for the forest uh australian raven is also in my hand and i wondering would... how much food I would keep that over the J. I, 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 in Oceania, I love keeping point bombs nowadays. And I think that's a really good one. All right, you convinced me. I'm going to go Curry Manager because that's the Holly um, Holland Honey Eater. Yep. And that's it, people. Cool. This is top tier footage because in our time zone, it's 10 o'clock. And one of us has NyQuil in their system. So, yeah, we'll see how Wingspan goes with, uh, with cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have, I'm going to make sure to mark this YouTube video is not for kids. Um, I have played a drunken game of Wingspan and it was ELO'd and I won. <laughs> really? I did. Uh -huh. I did. I, I, I don't drink too often nowadays cause I'm 30 and it hurts now, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it hurts to do that now, but I think it was new year's Eve. I, uh, I went to, uh, we went to this like bar event here and, um, here where I live and they, it was like open bar at a bar for New Year's Eve. So I got a little crazy. And then when by the time we got home, I was still kind of up because I think I had like a vodka Red Bull at one point, which is also something I don't usually do when I drink nowadays. But but uh, but anyway, I was still up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to send a game of Wingspan. I'll give a about my ELO, you know? <laughs> I don't give a crap. So I uh I knocked one out and I won. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> wow, but you need to take a sip. We need it. Yeah, maybe. We need it. I have I some like pineapple whiskey in the cabinet right now that might be calling my name. Pineapple whiskey? I bought it at Costco. 
it was like a special thing around Christmas time, and I was like, I I love pineapple everything, so I, I saw it and I was like, hey, can you tell someone to get this for me for Christmas? And my mother in law ended up buying it for me for Christmas. So, oh, here we go, baby. I got a noisy miner this time. Cool. And then uh, I don't have any wetlands option other than a white faced. Ibis, which makes this noisy miner a lot less valuable so far. Yeah. What are the odds that great crested grebe in the tray gets all the way to me? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, I mean, really, we just have to wait. Yeah. Have to wait, you're fourth. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, there is no way I'm getting that grebe or that yellow headed unlikely. blackbird. Um, honestly, I find yellow headed blackbird and noisy miner kind of counter each other. Like you don't have enough right. cards to tuck with both of them. So, right. uh, the rest of my hand, acorn woodpecker, that's a no, uh, white faced ibis. I, I don't hate keeping it, but I do hate keeping it. You know, um, what's your bonus card? Is it a falconer? Uh, I hope so. Um, it's not, I have bowl nests or birds that eat wheat. Uh, noisy miners a bowl nest. I don't hate going the nest types. It's definitely not birds that eat wheat. That one, that one kind of sucks sometimes, and I don't even have any of those. So, other than acorn woodpecker, I have rufous owl in my opening hand too. So that's a good bird. Um, Ooh, I like that. Yeah, and then the others of Vose swift. I think I can skip that. Tuck one yeah. data worm. Yeah. So let's do noisy miner rufous owl. Um, I think. I think the play is, uh, I was thinking, what if I just kept what I need for the miner and then just kept another card as a, as a trash and then tried to get what I need for the owl and just play these two, you know, in tempo? That still yes. might be good. So I'll yeah, just like keep it. the Vose Swift and then I'll just do a Worm, a Rodent, and then my Starting Nectar and... I'll hope to find something for my wetlands later. Okay. I like yeah. it. I'll take Noisy Miner. That's all day. Yeah. So that's going to give all players an egg or just me? All, uh, players. all players. Now, okay. that Western Meadowlark, that's a decent partner bird because now I know it's coming. So now it's like, okay, I need to get a ground nest down. Now, I don't have a ground nest, so... You know, grain of salt. Yeah, but... All right, there it goes. So never mind. Oh, that grieve. Both of those. Oh. Um. So I got the dipper. I can just play dipper and roll the dice, see if he grabs it. I don't know. Yeah, if that grieve gets That's to me, if that if I can get that grieve, we're set. But I, I wonder how many birds did he keep? He kept three. I don't think he takes the grieve. All right. Well, I'm going to be resetting the tray a lot with this dipper. So if you don't get the grieve, hopefully I flash something else. But Yeah, totally. What what other bird did he take? He took the uh, blackbird and the meadowlark. Okay, yeah, blackbird and meadowlark. And he used his nectar. I hate using my nectar to draw an extra card. Ooh, the yeah. waddle bird. I know most people don't get too excited about that. I do when I've already got decent options, but I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to just drop the miner. I like it. Yeah, Waddlebird's like a... It's a cup like nest a for me too, but... Like a mid-game round two, three bird? I don't know. I'm a big tempo player. Like, I, I like birds that, like... Like, they give you just that extra um to, like, play another one, you know? Like, Waddlebird, I don't, I think it's just hard to make it super valuable. But, like, it really fits as your fourth forest option, especially with a miner where you've already got the eggs. You can Waddlebird right into, like, a Rufus Owl or a, or a, um... What is it? Um, Great Horned Owl. You can just snag three nectar with it and then immediately play your fifth forest bird. And yeah, that, that's kind of how I use that bird. 
No, it, I, it's good. I like speed plays. Um, I'm going to either play the honey eater or draw cards, but you are going to pass on this waddle bird because I'm going to reset the tray, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, reset the All tray. Right. Cool. I desperately need a wetlands oh, option. bro, bro. Just got Princess Stephanie's Astrapia. Choose one other player. You both play one egg. That's Watch so up. good. Oh, I just lost the wood duck. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, the wingspan God. gods okay. giveth. <laughs> and there's a power bird. You and another player gain a worm. I'll take it. What a turn. Cool. What? That was the best draw I've had. A white-backed so woodpecker, long. too. Yeah, I don't even touch. want that. But, damn, that is so good. That's really good. Um, well, that might help my Australian raven if I can get this wood duck down. Actually, I may need to get a strapia down first so I can get some eggs. Or you could give us eggs. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna, I'll give everybody an egg once, here. Okay. Especially if blue doesn't play a bird. Yeah, I think especially with your, uh, newfound wood duck, um, giving resources to everybody is pretty valuable. Oh yeah, 100%. So, I'm gonna burn this honey eater, because now I'm not focused on the grassland hardly at all. Correct. I'm going to gain a couple more food, get the wood duck down, or a strapia. What do you think? Are you going to need eggs anytime soon, or are you going to get them? Um, I should be fine on eggs. Uh, gray lag goose is so bad. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take food. I'm gonna grab this rodent and this nectar, and I will tuck those. And everybody get an egg. Yeah, freaking blue didn't play a bird yet, so he doesn't even get an egg right now. Love that for us. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go. What did he take instead? It was uh, the white-backed woodpecker. That's what it was. Well, my strategy is pretty linear now. Um, if you could get maybe like a, a wagtail or a tuck and draw. Oh, look at that. You really need some cards to fuel that miner. So I think what I want to do is actually burn a uh, nectar on this next turn and draw two cards. And hopefully okay. next time I take food, I get exactly what I need for Rufus Owl. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I have to take food one more time for Rufus Owl anyway, so I think it just makes sense to burn a Nectar right now and take an extra card. Oh, I can burn okay. an egg. I don't even have to burn the Nectar. I didn't even think about that. I have plenty of eggs. I like it. A lot better than last game so far. Just a crazy good start this time. If only Greylag Goose wasn't awful. Man, you need a... Uh, I'm trying to think what you could use. Like a Tui or a, a Liar Bird and copy my Wood Duck. Oh, yeah. I have, a so lot of, I have a lot of outs here that I could get. I have this Regent Bower Bird. I mean, I'm going to be digging a few times with a Wood Duck, but it does help just you and me for one worm. I'm not sure if I should play it or not, but it's pretty cheap. It's only one food cost. I may play it in the forest. I think that's worth it. Especially if it helps for this first end of round. All right. Um, yeah, let's take food, or take cards. Okay, Ferruginous Hawk. Not amazing. Uh, we can tuck it. And let's grab another one. We got a Hermit Thrush. Also not amazing, but at least it's points. Hmm. I think... I think I can do it again, honestly. Oh, you have two nectar? 
No, no, I burned an egg oh, instead. I burned a noisy miter oh, egg. Yeah. Oh yeah. For I, sure. You I'll can just, dig. Yeah, I'll just keep digging for stuff. Hermit thresh is another cup nest. I think I'll keep that. We Play. each for end of round goal each only have one worm. I am wondering if we're gonna win this, if we're gonna make a push for it. I, I kinda in four player games I, I almost ignore the round one goal because I kind of ignore the round one goal in almost every game. The only thing <laughs> the only thing that's kinda tempting me is the house wren. Because it contributes to three. It can if you put it in the grasslands, it could contribute to three of these end arounds. That's true. But I would need something to pair it with that's not a Ferruginous hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe like a let's see, white powers and eggs in the groundness, like a like a Bustard, the little bustard, maybe, or oh yeah, bustard would be good. Um, what else? Uh, turkey, but that that take a lot of food. Or even just the um, draw two bonus cards ones, the chestnut collared long spur and yeah, greater prairie chicken and painted bunting. Again, yeah, there's three of them. Sick. Got that wood duck down. Big wood duck energy. Big duck energy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> um, all right. Let's draw off the top. Well, yeah, we can. I don't know. I guess I can afford to wait and see if the tray moves. Because, like, I have a tuckable card. And I just want to play the Rufus Owl next anyway, right? True. And I would get the food I need. Yeah, you can wait. Yeah, I, I can just wait. In case. Let's, let's do a worm and a rodent. And then we'll tuck this hawk. What is your next bird you're trying to play? The Astrapia. Astrapia, okay. So, yeah. I have a feeling... Warm. I have a feeling this Hermit Thrush is not all that valuable, then. Other than for the Star Nest. And the seven points. Yeah, I think that's tucking fodder. Unless, I mean, it's bonus card stuff, maybe. Um, yeah. The Star Nest would hit the... Um, third end around, and it hits my bonus because I have cup nests. Right. So it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. All right. We are going to gain food here. So I got a purple martin and a red legged partridge. And as good as the partridge is, kind of good on eggs and i'm going forest engine yeah you can ditch the partridge for sure i don't think i want to do that so what's the other uh, what you have purple martin uh i'm not i'm not going grassland engine though really i'm looking for big point bird bombs right i mean you can ditch them both honestly yeah I've got eggs. I've got food coming. I, I really don't want to go the grassland engine approach. I want to be playing a bunch of white powers. Yeah, totally. Theoretically. But you know how Wingspan goes. I probably won't get me. <laughs> you, could, you could honestly use this house, Red. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Only only if it wins you this end around. How about that? Because it is a white power too. And you play it in the grasslands and it contributes to that later. That's true. 
but I don't know. It's also a mild tempo hit, right? All right, one point. I have that prayer manager card. I kind of was looking for. Oh, that's bird. right. It doesn't hit your prairie manager, or it ruins your prairie manager, I should say. That's a good point. All right. Well, I think. I don't know. Uh, there's two nectar in the tray, and it's tempting, but I think I can just drop the Rufus Owl. Yeah. Rufus Owl. Guaranteed tuck, right? What is it? Smallest bird in the tray or something? It's 75 centimeters or less, oh, but, but it is basically a guaranteed tuck. It very, very, very rarely misses. And that blue player, I mean, Grieve and Wideback Woodpecker, that's a pretty good start for him. Yeah, it is. Um, and even Yellow-Headed Blackbird... White breasts and not hatch. That's that's pretty good too. Yeah, they've got. I mean, pretty uh, textbook wetland forest. I mean, I would kill for a wetlands bird right now. <laughs> that's not named gray lag goose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm playing a strapia next, so that's what three turns left. Strapia, gain food, and then probably Bowerbird. So I'm thinking I could win this first end of round. I think I'm not going to win this first end of round. Just to uh, be honest with you. I contributed my one worm to see if I could, like, tie <laughs> for that yeah. one point. Basically, we all get zero, <laughs> but... Uh, I don't think I'm winning this uh, set around. Yeah, Rufus Al Minor, that is a strong start. I mean, those are guaranteed points, but you're just missing that wetland option. Man, Minor is... I, I think Minor can be so good, don't get me wrong, but if you don't have a way to generate cards for it, it is right. surprisingly weak. But pair it with a Rufus Al, I mean, this is a pretty dang good start. This is a lot of points down the game, but... And this Rufus Owl, man. Have you seen the, uh... Have you looked at the artwork for the Rufus Owl? Usually these paintings are, like, just gorgeous, right? But this Rufus Owl, maybe that's what they actually look like, but it looks so creepy. Yes. Those it's... eyes are staring into your soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just never blinking. I, I used the Rufus Owl for a thumbnail, and I thought the exact same thing. It was just like, I don't know, something in a horror movie, honestly. Let me look up real Rufus Owls. Oh my god, they look like that. Dude, Google image search these things. They have massive bug eyes. <laughs> oh, they're kind of cute. Oh. I mean, we oh, are Owl fans. Metal Lark. Uh, I think I need to play this uh, Hermit Thrush now. Which means I need to skip a tuck. Because I want to get back. Why? No. Well, I it's a know. It's the only ground nest option I got. You're Cause... gonna... But you're not gonna activate the Hermit Thrush power, are you? No, no. I would never activate that, but now it's a free way to get some extra eggs on a... That's true. That's true. Okay. Alright, let me... I, I guess I should mm -hmm. still draw first. It's still pretty worth it. Um, yeah, burn. I even draw. Yeah, let's just draw off the top. Ruby Count Kinglet. Okay, it's another cup nest. And... Do I just take the gray leg? <laughs> it's a ground nest, and it's a water bird, and I hate I mean, it. It is seven points, and it's oh. seven points. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's see how many turns you got. Two. You could gain food and play gray leg for the last turn. You could. I could do that, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna do it. 
just because it's safe and we already have good birds. But if this bird that replaces in the tray is better, I'm going to be so sad. No! Oh. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. That was the bird you were going to get. Oh, if it's still there, I'm taking it. But, oh, that is just Damn. so sad. And it's a ground nest. It's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> That's wingspan, baby. That is classic wingspan. Ah, uh, that hurt me. That hurt. That hurt me well, too. Uh, every, every extra card you have, I mean, with that minor, is essentially three points for you. So, I mean, yeah. Um, are you playing? Are you? Let's see. You have another egg. You need to take food, and then and then you can play Bowerbird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't draw the ring build, or I can't play the ring build goal this round, which is fine. But I can be pretty situational. But they need to get a power where you can, like a real team up bird that just says give a card from your hand to another player or trade or something. Yeah. Or uh, look at another player's hand. I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. These 2v2 games just so hard to uh, schedule, you know? Yeah, that was the real challenge of this tournament. He left the okay. goal for me. He sure did. Wow. Okay. I wonder if he's chasing the end around. This blue player has... Two cards in hand. Not sure if you're going to get it or not. Nice. You're the red cockapo. I am the red cockapo, correct. If I gave... <laughs> red, that, would be... that would be a classic... <laughs> a classic Condor skincare group move. <laughs> For our viewers, that is uh, that is the name of our amazing team, the Condor skincare group. I love it. That would have been sick. You know, if we get way ahead for flex points, I'm giving them an egg. I'm giving them an egg. <laughs> Wait, you a strap yet, right? Yeah. Oh, it's probably when it gets to my turn, I get to lay the egg. Yeah. Okay. I was like, why is it on blue? <laughs> <laughs> you would have, you would have. Like, what is this partner condo? <laughs> I just thought you needed a little help. I'm flexing. At one point, I'm giving them an egg just for the heck of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, last turn of the game. <laughs> yeah, why not? I picked up the gray butcher bird. I kind of like that bird. Hey! The, the goal. All right. Here we go. You want to right. burn an egg for another card? I do. Yeah. I, I think any. I think it's always worth it to do that. And a pretty good bird to follow, a plains wanderer for later in the game. Oh, perfect. That's white power. I I would like that, but yeah, that would probably be better with you. But too bad. Now, if somebody could give me one extra food somehow, nobody has the power to do that. But... Then I could just play this goal. Oh man. I just trusted the top deck. The wingspan gods have already been kind to us. I don't know why I didn't keep my faith. <laughs> <laughs> I would have this ring build goal down a turn earlier. Alright, big bower bird energy going down. Big so now we're bird. getting into worms. There is a six foot long cottonmouth water moccasin in my front driveway. It's very cool. 
And I got, you know, kids. I mean, it's it's Texas, so I kind of expect it. But I'm like, man, on my driveway. Yeah. My, so I just moved to Chicago like six, seven months ago. And, um, you know, so far, love Chicago. Um, city rats are no joke. They do not mess around. They are huge. Really? They are like as big as my cat sometimes. Yeah. It is terrifying how large these rodents can be. Um, yeah. I am going to clear the worm and the fish out of the tray. Because I got to use, you know, whatever for a ring build goal. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll clear that because you're going to take food next, right? Man, I'm going to be taking so much food this game. And that's all I'm doing. Yeah, so I'll leave you an open feeder then. And then we'll tuck this silly little house wren under the rufus owl. And then we'll tuck this gray leg goose under the noisy miner. Everybody get an egg. Did I tell you that Elizabeth Hargrave posted something on social media about the next expansion? Well, she didn't, but she posted a video of a monkey in this national park, Tikal, Guatemala. Oh. And... Like, why would you be in Central South America, you know, other than wingspan stuff, you know? I mean, does she like to travel? I mean... <laughs> it could have just been her normal social media practices. <laughs> yeah, Picture of a monkey. True. This is definitely a wingspan a advan- Andrew, expansion. So I, oh, okay, I okay. It. it was specifically on the... Okay, that that's different. Oh, look at that tray. Oh, Oh, and you can wood duck that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Do you have a card you can discard, too? What'd you say? Do you have a card you can discard in your hand? So you can keep both Spoonbill and Puffin? Um... No. I mean... What's in your hand? Let's talk. (laughs) Australian Raven... Okay. The gray, the gray butcher bird, which I was gonna add to my four spot on the forest. Okay. And then the magpie lark, which is a prairie oh, manager bird. Oh, you have a mag. Uh, do you white throat a dipper? What do you mean, my dipper? Oh yeah. You can just draw four cards. Yeah, forget it. I'm gonna do it. I I need all those cards, man. Yeah, they're, those are all pretty good birds. The only thing I could say is you could. Ditch the gray butcher bird, which isn't great. Don't get me wrong. Gray butcher bird is good, but how I... dare you? How dare you? Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm it's taking a good bird. Whatever. High build cormorant. Yeah, that bird is surprisingly good. Usually those lay an egg powers aren't, but that one seems to hit because it's a base four points. That Corsican nuthatch looks like it's calling your name as the fifth uh, bird. You think? I was wondering about that. It's a white power, and I think, I think the faster you get the fifth slot filled, the better. And like red start is a good option too. But I really like just when you have a ton of food access, just collecting every bonus card you can. Yeah, that's true. Especially with a wood duck, too. You'll definitely draw the cards you need to, like, fulfill the nuthatch bonus card. Yeah. I've got some pretty expensive birds. I've got... I mean, if I... Well, well, there it goes, anyway. Well, never mind. They were were listening. Are Are you twitching right now? I am not. Streaming is the word. But I'm Straight also not, not twitching. twitching. <laughs> Are you, you you tweaking, bro? Uh, let's see. You know that kingbird. The thing about the kingbird is it only ever gives you a worm. Like that's kind of underwhelming, even when it triggers. But like even in a four-player game, you know it's gonna trigger like six right. or seven more times this game. But 
whatever. I'm just gonna play my role and be happy. How many points you said? Oh, uh, there there's a white store. Oh, that is a good bird. Um, I hate to put that on you. I know you're trying to get some tempo, but. <laughs> oh, shoot. And I he mean... can definitely use it. Look at that. He's got a Meganzer Blackbird. Yeah. Oh, I feel like, man, I was. Demon to die. <laughs> I was really hoping to not draw cards with eggs again. You know what? You can leave it. I don't even care, honestly. <clears throat> if we we can beat him with white sword, we can beat him with white sword. If if you want to get a bird down, I'm with you. All right, let's. Uh... Yeah. That's how stone cold the Condor skincare group is. We don't care. Yeah, I don't think we care too much about the White Stork. It doesn't fill any of the bonuses for the rest of the game. It doesn't fill any of mine. It's just a good power. Right. This cat. Mom's gone for the night and he doesn't know what to do. He's just hanging out with Dad. Does your cat meow in the middle of the night? Like, loudly? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> if it's a full moon, they're like catawalling like really loud. I'm like, what is going on? Does your cat like yowl in the middle of the night where it's like he's not even full meowing like crazy. He's just kind of wandering the hallway, like talking to ghosts. You know, yes. just a little like meow, meow, like one of those. Yep. Yes. Yeah. That's what mine does. Yeah. It's a cat thing. They're trying to communicate. Is that, is that a mating call? No, they're talking to ghosts. That is 100% what they're doing. Ah, <laughs> oh, snow bunting! Wood duck time. Let me see. He's got a tucker. Ah, oh, I've got a tucker, dude. <laughs> oh, let's go. They get. <laughs> I've got two tuckers. <laughs> I've got three tuckers. <laughs> Snowbunting so good. Jeez, the value. It's crazy. Man, these four player games get so chaotic so fast. You notice nobody's played a white power bird yet? White power bird. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I meant. <laughs> we do not support racist birds in this household. <laughs> are, you, are you twitching? Yeah. Are you twitching? Are you twitching white power birds again? <laughs> the pineapple. I didn't even have any. It's the Nyquil. <laughs> yeah, let's put that there. Green pygmy goose. Interesting. Oh, that's a good bird, right? It gives them it gives your partner a bird. Yep. Yeah. I feel like they deserve one this game. Alright, let's draw cards. Um I'm gonna end up with two. I wanna tuck one, so if I find one, then I won't have enough food to do what I want. So alright. Up top. Ooh, stubble quail. That's a good one. Do we take those? And North Island Brown Kiwi. Damn. Oh. That's way better than this hermit thrush. Oh, that's that was a dirty draw. Um I wonder if what I keep I wonder if I still keep Hermit Thrush and I actually ditch this Ruby Crown Kinglet. The only thing is no one has any white birds down. But, like, I can drop Stubble Quail or North Island Brown Kiwi. I think I'm fine to drop this. Or, oh, I could do two of them then. The Kiwi, you gotta get rid of your bonus card so the boldness aren't worth anything. Oh, good point. So you'd have to wait till you 
get a sucky bonus card, or you can ditch the bonus card. I could just ditch this bull nest, and I could ditch the hermit thrush then, and then just do... No, because I have the bull nest fulfilled, essentially. Oh, uh, this is tough. Um, so it's double quail more than... Right? Well, I actually really like double quail as the option to play this round. Or... Well, Kiwi for the bonus is way too valuable. I think the hermit thrush is lacking in that comparison. What do you think? Or the kinglet. So if you're oh. going to get a down, I have a couple bonus card birds that I'm going to play. I think kinglet into North Island brown kiwi is the play. So I think okay. I ditch the hermit thrush. Because stubble quail is way too valuable later. I'll definitely be able to grab everything for that. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. Let's... And I got a common grackle that I can tuck. Common grackle is usually pretty good, but uh, I I just don't have enough cards to tuck with it. So. Yeah. I think this is the right way to do it. It's tough. When you draw a bunch of cards that you need and want. Yeah, but it's yeah, just swimming in value is a good place to be. Swimming in value. Swimming in value, yeah. That's what I call it, where you're just... You got so many birds that are good that it's actually, like, tough to decide which ones to ditch. It means you're playing correctly. Or at least you're getting really lucky. wonder why this works. Why did the red player play Hooded Mergancer? I don't get it. Um, I think he's got... He's gotta have, like, a little penguin or a... Uh, like a brown falcon or just some other predator he's about to play on it. Yeah. Method to the madness, I'm sure. I was just, like... And I was kind of confused by it, too. I, I wonder if he's trying to build a full tuck engine. But it's getting... Well, I don't know. It's only, I guess, there's five turns left in this round, right? But it feels like it's getting really late to try to force down the other pieces of it. Yeah. If I'm him, I'm drawing cards, I'm drawing grassland birds, going in the forest, then my end game is more towards like a prediction hole. Yeah. Forest lay. Unless you, unless he, he has some tuckers, like you say, he could go full tuck too. Laughing Kookaburra could Oh could be, yeah, that's a good one. Could could be repeated. That actually I feel like Laughing Kookaburra makes a lot of sense if you're doing full wetlands. Draw a ton of cards, get two food each turn. Well ninety four percent chance you get two food each turn. I have missed with a kookaburra before. Yeah, he gained food. Is there anything that costs a worm, a fish, and a wheat that you can think of? A worm, a fish, and a wheat? My spoonbill? Um... I actually thought of that, and I was like, no, he got the spoonbill. can't think of anything. You know... I think... I think I can keep drawing. Did you use your bower bird again? No, you played a butcher bird. Okay. I think I can just keep drawing. And I think you're right that I don't have to necessarily ditch this wildlife gardener. Okay. I don't know. It helps me get two out really quickly, so. And I have the turn. Yeah, it's fine. Don't overthink it, okay? Um, ugly tray, but it's okay. Yeah, reset it if you want to. I don't know. 
Uh, sorry, bird feeder. I always say that wrong. Ugly bird feeder. Let's do that, and then let's tuck the grackle like that. I can even use this uh, stubble quail this turn. I don't have to use, I don't have to get like full six eggs out of it if I can get a third white power bird down that I need. I gotta quit calling it that. Um, a third white bird. White and no power bird. There we go. I don't know what you mean. Here they got some flaming hot Cheetos. Dang it. I love flaming hot Cheetos. I love the flaming hot um puffs. Oh, oh, I haven't had those. They're very nice. Really? Yeah, I'm a fan. Alright, this Kestrel is usually a nothing bird for me. I have this Prairie Manager. I've got the Magpie Lark, five points. Do I take it? I don't. I think I'm gonna be more picky. I think you can afford to be picky. Yeah, we're not about that, Kestrel. That's one of the things in my game. I will find a bird that, like, could work, and I need to work on being more selective, you know? I, I like to play all kinds of birds and, and say that they all have value, but sometimes they just don't, you know? Like Cedar Waxwing. I, I don't think I've ever really used that and won, you know? Like, that is... The only time I've ever used a waxwing is if it's the fourth bird of birds that eat cherries. Right, right, like, right, right. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Like, you've already collected two cherries for it, and now you're just getting more? Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's not a whole lot of... I mean, there's forest birds with, with cherries, but... I mean, it's not the most useful food source. The right. high point bird are the fish or the rats, you know? Even if I'm starting Viticulturalist, I still don't want the cedar waxwing. <laughs> yeah. I'd much rather have just, like, Count Raggies, Bird of Paradise. Count Raggies. Is that how you say that, right? Count Raggies, Bird of Paradise? Yeah, sure. I'm the worst at the pronunciations. Yeah, you, you always say oologist. But then again, so does Flan, so does Winging It, and so does Tay Ray. They all say oologist. I say oologist. Yeah, it's oologist. Oologist. Yeah, that's it. That's how you pronounce that. For have, anyone who's to, curious. I'll have to... Uh... Try and, that again. And also, uh, oh, Dwazgul. I looked that one up. There's actually, it was in one of my videos. Um, it, we, we, uh, in English, you just read it and it's like, oh, Alduin. Which, by the way, the first time when I unboxed it, I thought it was A-N-D-O-U-I-N or whatever. So I was, I, I kept calling it Anduin's goal for a really long time. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's Audua, is how you say that. Oh, I definitely ain't pronouncing that one. Audois. <laughs> yeah, Audois. Audois. Yeah, he's a French naturalist and had the bird named after him. And we just butcher his name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Audois. Right? Uh, right Sorry about that. you. Put that down. Put this down. And we'll ditch this guy. Boom. Oh, these uh these are not good. Oh wait, this is fine. Ecologist is good. And then honestly, breeding manager might actually be pretty good for me this game. You think? There's one I... point for you now. So it'll definitely fill noisy miner will fill, stubble quail is about to fill. You're gonna be feeding me eggs. It's either that or I could do forest data analyst because I've already got three. I just need a bird smaller than 20 centimeters, it looks like. Ooh, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking forest data. Yeah, I've already got three on forest data, so yeah, I, I guess that's it, but still. 
That would have been so dirty. Mm-hmm. Condor um, skincare group attacks again. Yeah, hit him with the breeding manager, baby. <laughs> Hit him with the breeding manager. Hit him with the breeding manager. It's disgusting. All right, I need to draw cards again. You know what'd be heartbreaking is if I drew. I I should have drawn cards one more time before doing that. But uh, if I drew like the cerulean warbler or something oh where yeah. it's like the final bird or even just like you know the painted bunting or something where it's like oh there's my source of other ones but whatever yes there's a the little pain when you called it okay psychic so I could banter again and then play two white uh, bonus card birds. But that only, you know, it's tying you. You've already got two. I'm going to have a and third. You're going to have a third? Okay. Yep. Then I want to get my bunting down and maybe over time collect some tuck. So that's it. I think we're on. I'm paced to have a pretty good game here. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a little worried that red will follow with like a mute swan and then like really go crazy or even like mange duck as his fourth bird right now. But I think we're in a good spot. How many points you see in that? Um, 36. 36. But I've got a blank bonus card right now. But it's not truly blank. It's Ecologist, so it'll be four to six points at the end of the game. I'm sitting at 36 as well. Yeah. Not bad. It'll accelerate here at the end. Yeah, especially with our, our snow bunting too. So, yeah, if I can find a bird that's smaller or 20, cent- 20 centimeters or less to go in this in this uh, forest slot, then that would be two more points for data analyst. How big is the, uh, I think, Prothonotary Warbler, the eight-point bird? I think that's like 18 centimeters. It could be 28. Yeah, the the blue winged warbler, the eight pointer, two worms. That's probably. I think one of those warblers is only like eighteen centimeters or something. That would be really clutch. Yeah. Would you take the uh, the wagtail, the um, the bar drawing bird? You know. Hmm. I would, but I don't want it. Like, I would feel obliged to use it when I'd rather just keep using my gull. Yeah, yeah. But that's just loss aversion, right? Like, I've already played the gull, the, or rather, that's not loss aversion, that's a sunk cost fallacy. Alright, let's drop some burb. Or let's draw some burbs. Australian magpie i might be able to use that what's, what's that one do oh is that the you, one where yeah you discard an egg off of all of your uh off of all of the birds that are adjacent to this yeah canada goose is not happening so we'll go ahead and tuck that bad boy i think and then White faced heron. I think that's talkable too. Yeah, this uh this magpie might actually work pretty easily for me because I've already got I don't know. We'll see. So the blue player has twenty points plus whatever bonus cards they have. That four, eight. And they have five cards in hand.
And the uh, red player sitting at about 30, 33 plus whatever bonus they have. So I think we're still ahead. Yeah, I think so too. Wonder how successful this little penguin Mergancer combo is going to be. We're about to get destroyed by it. It's going to have 40 cached food by the end of this game, I'm telling you. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing our luck in the first game. <laughs> very fun combo. I don't know how successful it'll be, but it is very fun. It is. It looks very fun. I think blue. I, I'm not sure why they used a Lincoln Sparrow. That just that feels wrong. Yeah, I don't. I don't know when they played it. Especially with my noisy miner giving them free eggs. Feels just, a little. Uh, feels a little off. Yeah. I want to say maybe they were desperate, but the grebe and the woodpecker were their first two birds. So I just thought. Maybe that wasn't necessary. But... I think everything else here makes a lot of sense, though. Nut hatch, other nut hatch. This green pygmy goose is a really great play. Yeah, I feel like they could have just hunted if they really wanted a a bird in the. Maybe it was because it ate worms. They were chasing the first end around. That could be. Yeah. Possibly. Well, I've got six cards and all of them I need to play, and I've got, what, 13 turns to do it? I don't know, man. I think you have plenty of time, especially when you have a forest engine with eggs. It's pretty easy to get. I think you'll actually probably play more than those six. I don't know. Depends. I hope so. It's one thing about these uh, 2v2 matches is that... You know, it's a tournament. People are allowed to take their time. I'm not criticizing this person at all, but it's going to be a while before I get to make another decision. Yeah, it's... I was hesitant about it just because of the timing, and then also, I mean, you have to block out... I mean, we're going on, what, an hour and a half right now? I mean... Yeah, according to my recorder, it's an hour and 13 minutes. Yeah, we're getting... And there was, like, seven minutes of prep before that, so... Right. And this is, and we still have the more complicated turns left, you know? It's like yeah. two and a half hours that you have to block out just to play one of these matches. Yeah. So we have another match Friday. Yeah. So if we go two and one, does that mean we advance or we're just straight off point difference? I think it means we just win the whole tournament. <laughs> I think that's how that works. <laughs> we're just we're done. That's it. Is there really there's only there's only four of us in a group, right? Yeah. Four groups. They're four. Yeah, so play everybody once. Surprised we don't play everybody twice. But that's also a crazy time commitment too, so Yeah, I was about to say. Maybe we don't want to advance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the competitive side of me is like, of course we want to advance. But like, I felt that. <laughs> much like I don't drink much anymore. <laughs> it just hurts. <laughs> Especially if there's European players that keep winning. That's one thing that gets like in the other tournament where it's like, yeah, I love our European player base, but man, it is hard to schedule games. It's not their fault, but like, yeah, like I find that in the group stage of the Brambling Blowout, like it's the European players that I can't finish off my scheduling with because I'll be like, all right, I'm done with work at this time. They're like, great, I'll be asleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. I have to like play hooky from work during lunch to play a game. Yeah, that's really difficult. Yeah. The timing of games I've found just in my somewhat, I don't know, long, I don't know if I'd say long career, but 
the timing of games, like I will win for some reason the majority of my morning games. But if I play at night or evenings, I usually lose. I've just seen this weird thing. I don't know if I'm not mentally sharp or if I'm just like, who cares? I want to go to bed. But in the morning, the coffee and I'm like, bam, I can't lose. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think. Yeah, the later it is, the a bit the more reckless I play, for sure. Like where it's like, yeah, hey, I'll just, it's fine. There's value in this play. I'll do it, even though it's not like the best play. It's like, hey, it's something. I end up doing that a lot. Yeah. Well, it's late at night, and then there's five to ten minutes between our turns. So yeah in this game specifically it's like i know exactly what i'm doing just waiting for my turn because i'm playing a stubble quail this blue guy is is trying to figure out how i use this link in spare Hmm, where am I gonna? <laughs> I'm sorry if I know this player out there. I'm sorry. I know we're just sitting here talking shit about this guy. We've never met him. <laughs> or Kai Guy Twenty Three PC. <laughs> I'm like hating on his game so bad. Jeez. We're, we're gonna be known as the bullies of the wingspan community. <laughs> He's like, Forget you, why'd you play the dipper? Like, you had a wood duck. <laughs> I played the Lincoln I played the Lincoln Sparrow before too, but I just it doesn't go. Why'd we do this? Yeah. I don't may, maybe okay. Maybe both his bonus cards it applies to. Maybe he's got uh, birds. Yes. Well, he doesn't have birds that he wheat because I had it. But he's probably got ground nests and and another one that it applies to. <laughs> Bird bander? Bird bander? Bird bander, yeah. Okay. That's it. Well, you know, you have to think mm -hmm. extra hard on those migrating games. So I can appreciate, you know, trying to figure out where you're going to move it. But, you know, it's tough. So, question. Answer. Do I ditch the Australian magpie? I, I have a bird I'm going to tuck. White-faced heron, I will be tucking under minor. Yes, ditch the magpie. And then ditch the Australian magpie for another food that I can then use for the stubble quail. Specifically, it's another nectar, too. Yes. Uh... Well, let's see. We have one more turn left. Yeah, I'm not going to be giving you food yet, so... I, I actually... Know. I don't think so, actually. I, I, I want to, do? but... I okay. actually think I can just... Maybe I can just keep the white-faced heron and play it. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually use the white-faced heron. Because I'm going to draw cards more, I might as well try to get some extra value out of it. But you have to play Magpie first, don't you? Um, You're going to have some adjacent birds... And you need the top and the bottom. Yeah, that's why I tucked it. Because I probably want to use Stubble Quail first. Oh, uh, Black, Black naughty. naughty. So Naughty. So Naughty. That's what I'm going to call my next Why i I've, I've been wondering, why did you put Yoda, the, the cartoon Yoda, on the thumbnail for the Black Naughty video. Uh, trying to think of what you're talking about. It's been so, a while. 
Yeah, about a month ago, you released a a video with oh, featuring the black oh. black knot. No, I mean, no reason. Um, I like. Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What is the reference here? Like, does no, Yoda have a quote where he's like naughty? You are or something?" No, like... I just thought that artwork was sick, and he looked like he was gonna, you know, dominate somebody. And I just uh, said, you know. Okay. 100 people are going to watch this. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm with you. No, that's my Master Wing uh, name tag kind of stems from my uh, fandom of Star Wars. So, like, you know, I have all, I have all the Jedi Masters and all those things. So, yep. and then I just com combined it with Wing. So, yeah, we just, we just like Yoda. It doesn't really have a great reference. Not, not my best thumbnail work. I, I I didn't think it was a bad thumbnail. Just uh, I was certainly curious. No. I just I just tried to make you click. I guess. I mean, I did. Hey, what's Yoda and Wingspan doing? Oh, no relation. <laughs> oh, there's no relation. Interesting. I've been noticing the this. warbler. There it is. Twenty centimeters, so that would go with the asterisk. That I, won't work for you. I can't have it though. You can't. I've got no. nectar. I need to spend. No. I know. <laughs> it's so sad. Are you playing two uh, two white white birds? No, I'm playing one. Okay. Yeah, I I want it so bad, but that warbler would be three extra or two extra points, so it'd be six point bird plus the bonus card. Ugh. Bad timing. And it's white. I needed it one turn ago. White power warbler. White power warbler indeed. So if you're only playing one, I'll see if blue plays one. If he does, then I will play a f I'll play the stubble quail now. Oh, spotted owl. Yeah. All right. Good good play. I got to I got to bring back up my positive reinforcement since I was hating. <laughs> He's probably gonna kill us anyway. Who knows? I, I need to find. A, I need to make a thumbnail for that, or we do. Yeah. Hey, what is this Condor skincare group? How many of my nectar or of my worms do I burn on this stubble quail? I'm thinking all of them. Really. I mean, I remember I still need more, but I have plenty of food access. That's true. That's true. I'm with it. I only need one for the white-faced heron, but I don't really see a reason not to. I mean, that's essentially, what, like, four more eggs? So, is that an eight-point play? Plus the end around. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think we just ditch them all. It's fine. So you got rats the size of cats, huh? Man. We saw one that was just a monster. Just a behemoth of a rat. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they get that big. But The Chicago smog, man. Yeah, right? So, oh man, something you should look up is the Chicago rat hole. It's uh, it's it's so funny. Um, basically, this construction project, um, like they were just laying down concrete, and a dead rat fell in the concrete, and then it hardened, and then they came back and they're like, "Oh shoot!" and they pulled the rat out, but now there is a like definitive rat-shaped hole in the concrete. And uh, it's just from this year. And now people are like,
putting a shrine around it, filling it with coins, uh, putting little signs around it. it. It's just this local meme now. It's so funny. Can't make it up. It, you can't make this up. I mean, it's people put business cards next to it. Like, yeah, it's it's truly. Someone put a bottle, a vial of injectable estradriol next to it. What is that? I'm pretty sure you're making up words now. Uh, it's a steroid hormone. It's estrogen. It's it's synthetic estrogen. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Someone put synthetic estrogen next to it because they can. The... I know. Like that's. That's Chicago for you. When do you think we're going to get Wingspan Asia? 2025? 2026? Um, takes them a long time to make another one, but I don't think it's going to be as big a deal because they don't have to restructure Nectar and the... The, uh, the board. Out, you know? Well, there is a new board, right? No, but it's the same as the base. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought... Asia had a different I don't actually have a copy of Asia, so um I don't know, honestly. I wasn't I I'm pretty fresh to this community and this game, like digitally at least. So it's uh you know, their timing on stuff, it's all new to me. I mean how long did it take them to come out with uh Oceania from the EU expansion? Long time. I mean, um I, I I hear they're a pretty small team, so, okay. and I mean, for the way it runs, I mean, there's, there's always those glitches every now and then, but, um, you know, I guess we'd rather have quality over just speed, but it took a long time, I want to say close to two years, um, just for Oceania. Oh yeah, ditching all those worms made a lot of sense because now my stubble coil has four eggs for this end around. And I thought of that like three turns ago when I planned this all out, but then I forgot it when I actually played it, and I still did it all, so. Yeah, during the downtime, you forget your strategy. Yeah, exactly. It's like, why does it make sense to use all my worms on this, right? It probably doesn't, but I had a plan, so I might as well do it. <laughs> I had a reason for that earlier. Well, I'm going to gain food one or two times and then play birds. So you should be getting a couple worms and a couple eggs. Love to hear it. Oh, but you go before me. I'm going last. Right. I need to draw some cards. Crested Pigeon. Very good bird. Is that the Cash 8 Seeds thing? Yeah. When you have a forest engine, that's that's pretty good. That's what you want to see. Um, let's draw another one. Violet green swallow. Okay. It's a little late. I think yeah. we can just tuck that. Um... Wait, but then you don't have to draw... And you can draw a card with your... Uh... Oh. I... I think I'm just looking for, uh, cause I have ecologist, so filling out my columns or uh, filling out my rows is good. So I'm just looking for birds to play at this point. I'm not really looking for any more of my engine. Yeah. I don't even think I'll play a fifth bird in my forest unless something really good comes up. Come on, butcher bird, butch. <laughs> you tell him. Oh, you still don't have a ground nest for his, uh. <laughs> Metal art? Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't. Dang, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he just used it, finally. Because of this current end around. Dang, I guess that makes me want to play my Puffin next, maybe? Yeah. Let me see. I did just get a red-breasted Merganser. Which is pretty late for that, but, uh... It's also a ground nest, and it generates cards Man. to be tucked, but I don't think I'm that's not, really I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not either. 
I think I just need one more, like, decent bird to play in... I think I can lay a, or draw cards twice, right? Actually, I don't know. If I'm not feeling it, I should take food and then play the white-faced heron. So that I can draw cards and use it a couple times. That's probably smart. I can also ditch some of these eggs that way. Yeah, that that's that's a good idea. Sometimes I'm thinking with my grip stick even late at night. Ah, this feeder. Why does it always come back to me completely empty of anything good? <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> who needs that dude? Who who needs it, you know? I'll just I'll just feed my fish. Yeah, there's the nectar. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Picking wow. four nectar, whatever. Um I only have one bird that I, one card that I can ditch too, and I really need the minor value, so what's the nectar fight looking like in the uh, spawning's gonna win that, so. Yeah. Even like Man, Master I... Wayne's got the nectar going. Yeah, you do. Spawning's gonna win the wetlands one, though. Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess I just ditch this. And. Rufus Owl, you can tuck the scrub file in case they have any weird plans for that. Eggs. Oh my goodness, I keep drawing crazy birds, bro. Now I got I have let's look at this lineup, and they're all platform nests. Except for the one card I just drew. Australian Raven, Rose <laughs> Spindle, yeah. Atlantic Puffin, yeah. Little Little Pied Cormorant that's gonna yeah. lay eggs on all these platforms. Yep. The King Rail, more okay. platform, and then I just pulled Trumpeter Swarm. Jesus! What the? <laughs> what the? So I think King Rail and Trumpeter Swan are the two that go. Yeah. Unless I, unless they hit your bonus, which I don't I think they do. do I can't do it all. Yeah, I think it's just like Puffin's a must, and then uh, Lil Pied Cant Cormorant. I don't know, that doesn't actually lay on a ton unless you play those, right? So, Rosé Spoonbill is a must. Puffin's a must. Well, the Pied Cormorant's gonna lay on, like, five or six different birds, but I don't know. I just mean, like, right, even if you played just R Spoonbill and Puffin, then Cormorant lays on four total birds, including itself. Right. Alright. And then Raven... Yeah, but Magpie Lark can play the Raven, so that's good to keep in mind. Yeah, I'm playing the Raven at the end. Um, it's Prairie Manager. Roadrunner does go with Prairie Manager, and it is a platform, but I'm not sure. And I oh, do believe... that's right, you got Prairie Manager. That last end of round does have birds in the grassland. And then, hmm. yeah, but oh, you don't want to fill with Magpie Lark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So forget this. Let's do. Um, I think Roadrunner actually makes sense for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm done with that. Okay, we didn't draw anything. I mean, this four v four. I know we've said it, but it just flips the switch on. Princess Stephanie's Astrapia, Noisy Miner, I mean, there is no downside. I mean... Yeah. So powerful. I might take that Snowy Egret, just as a one cost... Uh, one cost to put another two points in Ecologist. So that's a six point bird, essentially. Five with the egg. Okay. I'll probably draw it last, if anything, but... Like, with the goal? Yeah. Yeah. I have eight turns left. Three of them are going to be playing birds. So draw cards twice, take Kud three times. 
Thank God it's safe. Oh man, we're coming up on an hour and 45 minutes of recording. Are you keeping all this? I... I don't know. I, I think I will go through and cut out the dead time. Yeah. Just as a know. passion project, but... Um, you know, there's a lot of people participating in this tournament. I'm sure they'd be curious to see. But, yeah. uh... Man, there's going to be a lot of editing that goes into this. <laughs> I know, I know. That's going to be mean, a, a day's worth first. of editing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I swear, it's going to take like an entire day just to upload to YouTube. <laughs> probably. Yeah, you'd probably be one of the few that has a four-player game on, but... Yeah, maybe. I mean, I know the viewers appreciate the cut-ups of the downtime. It's just... Yeah, it's a like labor of love for sure. Yeah. I just got a gala. <laughs> really? Uh, is there any world where I use that? Let's see, you got seven turns left. I'd take um, two turns to get it in. And then... I'd probably use it three or four times. Not three or four. I'd probably use it... I'm thinking maybe twice. The game food, play gala. Game food, play bird. Game food, play bird. So, I don't know. Really? Heron? Okay. Um, I also got a golden-headed Cysticola, so that's good. Um, golden-headed Cysticola. That's good for the final end around. And you're giving me the worms for it. So let me think about this. Uh, it would take me two turns to get it down, and then I would have it going into the final round. I would be playing birds twice and then just taking food. Uh, Three times. I don't know. The Cysticola is probably better as a tuck for the noisy miner. I'm actually running out of space on that noisy miner too. One, tuck it, play this, draw, tuck the Cysticola. I would use it twice. Maybe nine points. Let me draw cards one more time, though. Even if I draw three dead cards, that's a bunch of cards I can just tuck with the miner. Then I can yeah. actually use the Cysticola. So I calculated taking food three more times. So two of those times I would be able to... Oh, uh, then I wouldn't be able to play all of these, though. So then it would just be one more time for the Gala. I don't think the Gala is worth it. It's too late. Condor Skin Care Group, we ignore white storks and we don't play galas. <laughs> Truth. That's why we are 0 and 1. <laughs> <laughs> that nut hatch has eight cached food on it. That's it's pretty solid use of that nut hatch. Then again, my miner has six tucked cards, so that's also decent. Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of... Let me see here. One, two, three. Done with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, then we need... A seed. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Butcher Bird Butch. It hit? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. We hit, we hit, we hit.
Oh, another reason not to play the Gala is it costs three wheat. That's three wheat that wouldn't go on my pigeon. Look at that pigeon harder than it looks. Using it? The crested pigeon? To get eight extra seeds? I find that difficult, especially when yeah. you're trying to get nectar. Yeah, I don't usually get all eight on it unless I've got like a like a couple wheat generators. But it's still pretty good, even if you get like, you know, four wheat on it. It's one food for seven points. Yeah. How many points is sitting at? 73. I'm at 69. Nice. <laughs> it is getting late. <laughs> you are sitting at 69. It is. <laughs> <laughs> wait did you not lay did you not activate a strapia yeah i did oh you did but okay you need to remember to put one of those eggs on the puffin oh wait you're nah. not gonna win anyway it doesn't matter okay never mind nah, he's, he's gonna do his metal lark and give me an egg that's my plan yeah I have a feeling he's going to do the same for me, so. Okay, um, I decided I am taking food here. So, take a wheat. And then, I can actually use two nectar right now to help compete for... Yeah, but that doesn't work, because you're going to win that one, so... I think I'd rather actually... See, this is actually where just taking wheat instead of nectar makes a lot of sense. For, uh... uh how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Alright, I got three more cards coming that I don't think I'll play. So, that can be my noisy minor tux. I think I can actually ditch a card for another food, which essentially equates to another nectar because I'm gonna use it to play the crested pigeon instead of a wee. Um, yeah. And then we'll tuck the gala. Mm -hmm. What do I play next? Let's see. 88. Yeah, we do that. Oh man. Do I let you an egg on the puffin? That's the thing. Because I, I want my free egg for the metal lark. So. You I'm don't sorry. want to lay on it because you're going to be in last place either way. Okay. So you, yeah, you might as well leave it open in case he does metal arc. It's all right. I'm holding down the fort on these uh, end around bonuses. You really are. I believe it or not, I'm going to compete for the last one, too. Nice. I have three birds that I'm going to play in my... Uh... Crescents. Oh, I get to go first this next round, too? I am going to be able to play 14 birds. I think, which would be nice. 14? Yeah. Nice. It's that Strapia Wood Duck, man. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you have, like, 14 eggs and you don't have a grassland? Or, I thought you did. What, me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have 16 eggs, and I didn't use my egg-laying action once. 
Yeah, man, that's wild. Yeah, noisy miner, stubble quail. Just getting tons of eggs for free. And your strap, and obviously the strapia too. I'm thinking I'm hitting 130 at least. Um, with with the, I mean, 81 points, and we're not even to round four. I think this could be trouble. I mean, maybe I'm underestimating their bonus cards, but I feel like we have this. I guess it's combined score. I mean, I feel like you have a good score. I have a pretty good score. I'm chilling at. It is about to be 79 points now. Yeah, I'm at 79 as well. We also have good, like, we have three yellow powers to finish the game, too. Yeah. Between the two of us. I'm going to max out Wetland Data Analyst for eight points, and I'm maxing out Prairie Manager for eight points. Yeah, and I never found the forest data analyst complete final bird for that, but that's all right. I still could. Still could. Still could. All right. Bell's Vireo would be a good one. That would fit. Um, Blue Winged Warbler is 20 centimeters indeed. Uh, let me do minimum points. Actually, no, because there's... That nester with the EOR. Alright. Those are all junk in the tray. <laughs> so, I think we can take... Food. Oh wait, no, I have to take cards, because otherwise I don't get to tuck with the miner. But, let me think about this. Now, it's you and me fighting over second place for Nectar in the wetlands, so... Um... Yeah, I think I just... Ah, oh, but that's three, uh... It's three wheat, too. God, I want that, but whatever. Um, yeah, these are all trash, so let's just dig. I found something that would complete the data analyst. Now, hear me out. Oh, no. Here comes Teclas. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that doesn't work. Damn. I found a lesser white throat, but I've got too many eggs all over the place, so that doesn't work. Oh. I was gonna I was gonna say the lesser white throat actually does. Wow, white faced hair and misses twice. That's fun. Yeah, that's not happening. Um Man. Um, so Blue gray gnat catcher. Um, it's only one point. It becomes three when the forest data analyst. No. Um, and then lesser white throat. That would have been a decent option if I didn't have a ton of eggs in my forest already. Because then I could probably clear it out, and then, um, and then I just have to clear off the miner by the end of the game. Um, but it's not meant to be. Because then white throat's essentially a five point bird, then it becomes six seven with data analyst, but I can't make that work. Oh well. So that means I just have one more bird to play, Plains Wanderer, and then I can take food three times. I can tuck a bird on all of those times. Uh, just got a subscriber. Yay. Midnight Wingspan. It is indeed midnight. I am not going to have five birds in the grasslands, so if you can get five birds, you may be able to win. 
I mean, um, I have a tree sparrow. My fifth bird will be played at the end of the game, so it's not going to count for the round. So I have a Eurasian tree sparrow. It's only a three-point bird, but I need to figure out what to do with one spare turn in this final round. And it does gain wheat from the bird feeder during other people's turns. And that okay. would be a point for Crested Pigeon. It's not great, but I I think I might do that. Okay. Just to compete for the end of round. I actually need some eggs. Are you gaining food anytime soon? Yeah, this next round I'll this next one I'll gain. I'll gain food, tuck one with the miner. Just make sure you leave eggs in your forest for your magpie lark. Right. That's a pretty solid board you've got, man. Worked out well, I mean. Wood duck for life with the scrapia. And then I just drew well, I mean, to be honest. I'm gonna score, what, 5, 11, 6? That's 5, 11, and 6, 16. That's 22 points with my yellow powers. That's awesome. This might be a high score for me. I don't know. We'll see. Of course sure. I wouldn't record. My tuck. Oh, the rye bill. Oh, crap. Here's my egg. Let me take those. The rye bill is a no-go because it is not wetland data analyst. I need a big bird for that. So we done. I mean, the Rybill, let me see, one, two, three, four. I see the... ten cards. So the Rybill, the only one I know that's in there is the um, one I discarded, which is the cup nests, and the birds that eat wheat, which is one, two, three, four for you, so that's not good either. Cup nests you would fulfill the low end of. What did you discard? Um, I'm gonna play the spoon bill in my fifth spot for the uh, okay. Yeah, the ride bill no go. Yeah, the spoon bill is better. Uh, let's see. I need five extra for this raven. I need two more for this swallow, and three food for spoon bill. Okay, so we need a lot of food here. Let me see here. One, two, crap. Oh, this sweet nectar. Butcher bird. Love you, hate you. Oh, you know what would be a sick bird from a sick bonus card for me to find is the uh one you have actually. <laughs> what? Birds that can only live in the grassland. Oh. Oologist would be decent too. Oh man, do I play Plains Wanderer before Tree Swallow just to see what it is? You What's know, the Tree Swallow again? Is yeah. that the pink power? So I've got a, yeah, the pink power that gives me a wheat if anybody else takes food. And that wheat would be cashed onto the pigeon. And it would, and then I also would get a, you know, fifth bird down for this end around. And the Plains Wander, you see bonus cards for every bird in your grassland, right? So, Correct. Gee, I think you'd play Swallow first. Unless you're drawing cards and there's a chance you can find something better. But if you're not drawing cards, then yeah. Yeah, I'm not drawing cards. I just, uh... I'm nervous that, like, if I draw Oologist, right? Then... I should planes wander food and then lay eggs instead of playing tree sparrow um, because then I can hit you know six extra points for oologist mm. and I'm I haven't seen oologist 
I don't know, I guess I can prepare for it now. You can use your Astrapia egg. I think it's safe. Let's... There's other bonus cards that are good too, so... Let's play Tree Sparrow now. It's just more efficient. And then... I'll take food one more time, and then I'll play this Plains Wanderer. Man, your Nectar battles are going well. Yeah, Kagai kept up, or caught up with me in the forest, and I don't have a forest bird to play, so... Um, I'm gonna win Wetlands, probably, because I'm gonna play Spoonbill. I think I'll win, or not win, but I'll take second for the Grasslands. Fawning has a ton of cards. I wonder if he has one of the Eagles finales or whatever. I bet he's got uh, the bird cards in hand at the end of the game. Yeah. The Aninga. Yeah. And so that maxes him out at seven, so that means I don't have to use all my nectar, so we take those. So all I need is eight here. We will do that. One, two. And three. Yeah, I think that's fine. And I'm cutting it close on eggs. I'll give you one more. Large bird specialist, not the best, that's okay. That was a four, seven, ten point play. Large bird specialist is good find. One, two, three. Yeah, I would only add four for that too. I need, what do I need? Platforms would be fine. Um, ground nests would be fine. Cavity nests would be fine. I've got four of each of those. Oh, Mechanical Engineer would be dope as hell. Yeah, I literally have two of everything. And then two stars. Nice. Oh, hit me with Mechanical Engineer, please. That'd be an easy eight points. Or Bert, or... Colors in one row would be six points for me. I don't know what I should. I guess my last two turns I have to lay eggs here because laying eggs is a. Let's see, one, two. Crap, one, two. It's a four point play. And if I gain food, I mean, I give you and I an egg, but that's pretty much it. I'm not counting on the butcher bird. So. You also give me a point for the crested pigeon if that makes a difference, but. I do. Yeah, cause I'll if you take food, then I'll gain a weight. I'll gain a wheat. Oh, okay. Hmm. So you would gain butcher bird, and then bower bird wouldn't do anything for either of us, and then uh, we'd each gain an egg. Okay. But let's uh, let's see what I draw with this first. Sick. Um, I'll just take the wheat. And then... Tuck the roller, tuck the net pitcher, lay some eggs. There's a frigate bird. Frigate bird would have been very nice. Just saying. A little penguin has ten caches. scary <laughs> man you have a crazy board <laughs> that is I sick wish i had one more bird to play because these last two turns are not going to be a big um you have 10 tucks on your snow bunting 
And I've got 22 points coming with my yellow powers, bro. I have five. <laughs> it's so dirty. It's so dirty. Um... What? How many points are you sitting at right now? Without the 21 bonuses or whatever. 110. Okay, I'm at 96. And I have a Plains Wanderer to play. And then I have the Crested Pigeon value. And then I technically am about to get seven points for this end of round, too. So between lane eggs, I could have a four point play, maybe a Roadrunner, and that's it. Or I gain food, maybe hit the Butcher Bird, a Grapia, so that's two points, and then a point for your cash right the three so it's and i could see two cards that could make me play something so i'm thinking gain food right i right? think if uh let's see you've got everything for raven too right yeah yeah what uh you need you need another egg to play what you call it right yeah i need an egg no matter what so I'm going to gain food. Yeah, I think so, that's right. It's a, leave me a wheat in the tray. Make sure you leave a wheat. Okay. Okay. So we ditch that card. And this is where I don't want nectar, really. So we'll do a berry for diversity. Nice. That. And that. And... Hmm. I said leave a wheat. <laughs> God. So much for that point. I have four food. I have to gain another one. What do you mean four food? You ditched a card? Yeah. Why? <laughs> so I could get more food? Yeah. Why? <laughs> you could have just skipped. <laughs> no, 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 no. God damn it, Master Wing! <laughs> you're right, you're right. Um, I was literally I mean, looking at the are... tray. I, I know the I I know they're slim, but I was like, you know, honestly, just take the junk food and just leave that wheat in the tray. I thought about spelling that out for you, but I was like, no, it's fine. He'll I, I, I'll trust him. No, no, no. Condor skincare group. Never. We we never trust each other. We <laughs> don't. No. Never. Um, that. What do I want to play here? Let me think. I could maybe steal the end around goal. Let me see. Large bird specialist. Boom, boom. And it'd be another. Dang, that was a clutch draw. Let's go. I wonder if Koala will also take food. Yeah, don't be mad about your one seed. Fine. I am mad about it, though. <laughs> I don't want to be mad about it, but I am. You know. Well, I'm I'm trained in 1v1. Like, don't have extra cards in Oceania. Like, maximize yeah. and get as good as you can. And so I just... Did the butcher really bird... Thought... The butcher bird did hit, right? Yes, it did. All right, it was worth it. <laughs> I really worth. thought the reroll wouldn't, wouldn't mind leaving you a seed, but, you know... Um, if we lose by one, see. it's on me. <laughs> it's on, yeah. I don't think we will. Alright, let's put this down for that and that. And we'll take one of these and one of these. Diet Specialist. Six points. Very nice. Not mechanical engineer, but it's decent, so I'll take it. Man, Planes Wanderer, I think that card is so good, actually. Yeah, what'd you pick up again? I tuned out. Uh, Diet Specialist, so six points. I have four birds that have three cost.
Oh. Is he gonna leave me one? Hmm? Wait. Did he? Oh, he drew birds, that's why. He resets the feeder with his naughty, he doesn't... Oh, his naughty hit three times. Meanwhile, my white-faced heron, which does the same thing, missed twice. Oh no, absolutely not. That is just... ridiculous. Oh, why can't I play this common buzzard where I want to? Is this a bug? What's going on? Um... I don't want to play it on top of a bird. I'm going to pay it two costs. Boom. Thank you. Okay, I got it. I just stole the fourth nectar battle with a buzzard and gonna get an egg with my cormorant. That's Golly. solid. That's Golly. That's three, four, and then eight less two. That's six points, baby. What's your final play with Magpie Lark again? To complete my prairie manager, the white breasted wood swallow that says lay an egg on each bird in your grassland, so it's five eggs. Love it. You said you were only going to play six more birds two rounds ago. You ended up playing the entire board. <laughs> oh, Kai Guy did double play. What a dick. <laughs> Oh man, is he the sparrow guy? But <laughs> okay, I'm at one sixteen right now, so we are gonna go magpie Lark first. Boom. Then the swallow. Lay all. Boom. Then a little pie cormorant for seven eggs. Jeez, man. Boom. Then the Australian Raven for five caches. Boom. Good God. You should, you should get extra points if you fill the board. I don't know, man. That is so or like many a, points. A really crazy bonus card or something. I don't know. All right, two hours later. GG, everybody. Two hours and 25 minutes on this recording. It's going to be wild. a hell of a YouTube video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Please. <laughs> please, for the just, effort. Just please. 74 bird card points. We take Jeez. Those. We take those. Oh man, what a day. <laughs> what a day. Bro. 142, 116. That is a lot. All right. Crazy. We're one in one. Color skincare group. Assemble. Not only got the dub, we got 158. That's real good. Oh, 258, right? Or 258, 258. Yeah. yeah. We got 258, oh. and they only got 198. That's pretty good. That's what we do. All right. Well, I think that concludes this, uh, this absolute monster of a Wingspan video. I hope you all enjoyed. Say goodbye, Master Wing. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank you all. Cheers.